What's going on guys? Today I wanted to make a quick breakdown video of how I made one of my recent Instagram posts. A lot of you guys were DMing me, asking me how I made this picture, what program I used, and uh, basically I wanted to break it down and explain to you guys how I made it. Uh, this really isn't going to be a tutorial, it's more going to be a breakdown, so if you guys just want to check out how I made the photo, follow along, and uh, you guys will know how to I made this photo. Alright guys, so getting into Photoshop, uh, we're going to be using a couple pictures here. We have a picture of a phone that I took while I was fishing. Uh, you guys can achieve this by borrowing your buddy's phone and taking a picture of your phone in your hand. Uh, I like the pond background that I had going on when I originally thought of this image. So basically this is going to be your background for uh, the picture that you're going to decide to pop out of. Um, the next picture that you could use is going to be a uh, image of you holding a fish, catching a fish, whatever you want to do. Um, there's really no guidelines to how um, you do this as far as what picture you use. But basically this is the image that I used, which was a picture of me holding a bass and my rod outside of a pond edge. I had already posted this picture a while back on my Instagram, but I wanted to reuse it. So what I did is I pretty much um, centered this up to where I thought it would look good on the phone. Um, I lowered the opacity of the layer and then lined it up and that's where I ended up picking it out to be where I wanted it to be. So from there I basically hired the opacity and I added a mask and I started to mask all of the uh, background of that image away. Um, if you guys don't know what a mask is or don't know how to use a mask, I highly recommend you guys uh, look up a tutorial on how to mask a photograph and what it means to do because that's not going to be the tutorial that I'm explaining today. But all in all, what you do is you basically just go around the whole entire image and you pretty much erase the whole thing that you don't want to use uh, just to where it fits inside the phone. Um, the detailed part is going to be up here around the fishing pole and the head of the subject. So you're going to want to spend a lot of time. Um, there's probably apps that you can use to do this on your iPad or your iPhone. But again, I'm using Photoshop because that's what I like using. And uh, I think that you get a lot better, cleaner results with it. But if you guys want to mask, download a masking app. I'm sure there's plenty that you can do where you can mask two photos together and just take your time going around. So basically what I did is I erased the whole entire image around the phone that I wanted to use. When I was all done, um, it looked like this, nice and clean. As you guys can see, I went in and went real close around the edge. And uh, the more time that you spend on this, it's going to look a lot better. So that was basically the uh, uh, kind of starting point, but end point as well. So I added from there a little bit of a brightness adjustment with the curves kind of made that little uh, center pop a little bit you guys can see maybe just kind of blend in with the background a little bit better um, added another curves to the whole entire photo again to kind of make it blend together get the mid-tones uh, blending then I added a color balance um, this is just basically a uh, layer where I, it's an adjustment layer where you can kind of blend the photo together with uh, different hues of the photo so I added that um, from there, I added the water. The water is uh, pretty simple. Basically, it's uh, um, a download that you can get from adobestock.com, which comes with Photoshop if you guys pay for Photoshop. Um, or you can probably find some water on Google or whatever. But basically, I Googled water drop. Um, this is how it looks whenever you first get it. It's got a black background on it. But uh, you change the blend mode to lighten and that allows you to basically get rid of the black and just shows the, the highlights of the photo. I doubled it to get that kind of uh, more vi uh, vibrant pop at the bottom to make it look like it was really flowing and this kind of blends with the bottom of the, my knees there, the bottom of the phone. Uh, after that, I added some bokeh at top. If you guys can see, there's a little bit more bokeh. I noticed there's bokeh on this side of the image, so I wanted to add a little bit more. Um, that's just some uh, random dots that I blurred and then added a few more. There's three layers of bokeh. Added another contrast uh, layer, basically darkening the shadows and midtones. A little bit of an HDR filter pop that I added. 
Uh, again, a little selective color. This is an adjustment layer. You guys can uh, select the color of each channel of the photographs. I selected the green, the reds, and just made everything a little bit more vibrant. Um, this was the fishing rod, little final details of cutting it out and making the center of the photo pop. Uh, final layer was adding a little bit of black to the rod because I noticed I made it white at the top and a little bit more black at the top. So that was the whole entire breakdown of that image. Um, I did it all in Photoshop. It took me about 30 minutes. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, looking at it at first glance, it looks cool, but I can see areas where I um, definitely messed up and should have took a little bit more time of masking and uh, getting rid of some drops right there. I noticed um, there was a couple over here, a couple spots that I messed up on. But anyways, you don't have to be perfect. It's just all about going out and having fun and trying something new. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash breakdown. Um, if you guys are interested in learning Photoshop, uh, leave me a comment on this image and I will do my best to make some tutorials in the future. I've already made a couple in the past, uh, so if you guys want to check those out, let them know. They just don't really do that good with views and they take a long time. So um, I want to make sure you guys are going to watch them before I spend the time creating them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will catch you next time. Oh, <laughs>